Let's talk RV garages and how big should it be? We have had a lot of questions about our garage. It's kind of funny because every time we show something about our camper in the garage, there's always questions. How big is your garage? How tall are the doors? How tall is the ceiling? So here it is. Here's the truth. When we bought this house and this property four years ago, I like to say we bought the garage and the house came with it. But uh, that's, that's basically what we bought this uh, house for, was the garage. And uh, although it's big, it's still not quite big enough. I could still go for a bigger garage, but it's a it's 24 feet wide and it's 40 feet long, so it's it's almost a thousand square foot. But the problem for us now that we have a truck camper is the truck camper will not go in the garage while on the truck. So uh, what we have to do is we have to actually take the truck camper off the truck in the driveway, put it on a trailer and then back the trailer with the camper on it into the garage and then take the camper off of the trailer. So I'll show you that here in a moment, but here's the deal. Our doors on our garage are 11 foot tall and 10 foot wide. And the ceiling in our garage is 12 foot four inches. I have a laser measuring device here. So I'm just gonna measure between the door jam nine feet and 11 inches. So almost 10 foot. Here's the floor to the top piece up there. You can see the dot. And it is 11 foot one inch. So now I'm gonna measure from the floor to the ceiling. So we have 12 foot, four inches. I have actually put the, uh, at least the Northern Light on the back of the truck. Actually, I've done both, thinking about it. Put uh, the campers on the back of the truck in the garage. However, I can't pull out through the door. It's too tall. It's, uh, it's almost uh, 12 foot. My door is only 11 foot. So um, I'm trying to figure out a way to be able to get the campers in and out of the garage while they're on the back of the truck. But that's the deal. If I was going to build a garage just for uh, a truck camper, I would, I would like to say I would probably put 14 foot doors on it, probably 12 foot wide, 14 foot tall. That would be my ideal garage door for a large detached garage shop kind of thing. Uh, and then you can pretty much get just about any camper, uh, RV, whatever you want. Now. Carl and I have uh, put our travel trailers in now this garage uh, with no problem. We had plenty of room uh, with the 11 foot door. Our Bigfoot went in and out and that was a pretty good sized camper. And, uh, but it fit just fine. But these truck campers are tall and they're on the back of a truck so they won't quite fit. So, um, so there you go. That's the measurements of our garage. Uh, we make it work and uh, we're trying to come up with a different solution uh, for our truck campers, because it is really, honestly, it's a hassle. Uh, putting the camper on and off the trailer, backing it in and out of the garage, uh, it's, it's another, whole nother step to the process of let's go camping this weekend. So we're gonna go, we're about to pull the Northern Light out of the garage. So I'll show you that whole process and uh, you know, maybe uh, you can even make this process work for you if you got a trailer that strong enough to move your camper around. Uh, I wouldn't move it around on the street with it, but um, you know, 50 feet forward and back, uh, just in now the garage, it works. So we're gonna get to that, we'll show you that, and then I'll be back shortly. So here's our dirty little secret. Our little trailer that moves a big camper. So here it is. It is an old trailer that I just had around the house. It's actually my dad's trailer. And uh, so actually it had side walls on it and all that, I took those off. And uh, I put some, some heavier duty uh, D-rated tires on there. Uh, and they hold, I think, 2,150 pounds uh, per tire. So you figure, you know, that's uh, 4,300 pounds of, 
weight between the two tires plus the, the hitch itself. So um, it's just enough to do the job, honestly, but it works. So it's just a flatbed trailer. Uh, it's about a four by eight. It's actually a little bit short because of the, the corners are throwing up. Um, I got some new plywood underneath and then that on top is just a three quarter inch horse uh, stall mat. And uh, so we were using that horse stall mat in the back of the truck, but I've since got a different um, bed mat and I just put it on there just to, just because. But so that's the trailer. We're gonna go use it and pull the Northern Light out. Let's go. So there it is, there's our garage. That's our little trick to getting our campers out. Uh, Cause a lot of people have asked, uh, you know, if they fit in and out of the garage and they don't, except for when they're on a trailer. So, um, you know, our, our garage is pretty big, um, you know, but the height, like I said, is only a little over 12 foot. And, uh, and in order to make them fit, we got to remove the, uh, if I can point at it here on the camera, uh, the garage door openers and because um, we're thinking about having the the top up here having that redone to see if we can possibly get the uh, campers to fit in there um, probably not we're most likely going to uh, buy a small tandem axle trailer if we can find one without being too big and, uh, and then that way we can just have a little bit more stability and support underneath the campers as we pull them in, a, in and out, but. The camper, not campers, not plural. Yeah, yeah. We have, we're keeping one. <laughs> yeah, one of them's gone, that's yeah. for sure. So uh, we only need one camper. Yeah. But uh, so that's it, that's, uh, that's our garage. We do love having this garage, it's been great. Be able to keep our campers in there and work on our vehicles in there, whatever we want to do. Uh, it would be nice if it was a little bit wider. Uh, this is 24 foot, maybe one at about 30 foot. And I would put a door in the middle if I was going to build a garage. And uh, of course I would put larger garage doors on as well. But uh, you know, this one being 24 foot wide, 40 foot long, it, it is great just to work in. And there's a gas heater back up there in the corner. So in the winter time we can uh, warm it up in there and it's, and it's really good. And uh, you know, if you're looking at building one, Make sure it's gonna, the garage door is gonna be big enough to fit most anything, really. I mean, uh, even, you know, this was, uh, it works great for a, uh, you know, it's a travel trailer, although we were looking at some other uh, travel trailers recently at their height just to compare them. And uh, some of them were still like 11 and a half foot and they still wouldn't have even fit through these doors. So. Make sure that you know what the height of the camper is that you're interested in getting or that you have in the garage that uh, you may be looking to purchase or build or whatever the case may be. And uh, just, you know, you don't wanna get in that situation where it doesn't fit. So uh, then you'll be jumping through hoops like we are. So. So make sure you put, make them at least what, 12 and a half foot? I mean, for, for a truck camper on top of your truck, I say at least 13 foot. I'd go with a 14 foot door. And uh, these are 10 foot wide uh, and it fits fine. It's tight, 
You know, if you go with a 12 foot wide door, 14 foot tall would be ideal and uh, be great for pulling a truck and camper in and out uh, together. Uh, it'd make life way easier than having to do all this uh, that we're doing every time we want to go camping, but it is what it is. We're thankful that we have the garage and that we can keep the camper in the garage and out of the weather. Um, so that's really why we go through the hassle. Um, we, we have left it out, a, you know, for a few nights here or there or whatever, um, but we like to keep it in the garage and, you know, mm. helps keep it clean and keep the sun off of it and, you know, all that good stuff to help keep the camper up. But so maybe that helps some of you. Hope it did. And uh, so until next time, we'll see you at Runaway Roses. Bye-bye. <laughs>